Oh, uh, oh yeah. I've been wanting a crossbody so bad, but child, it's a lot of body to cross. <laughs> like I'm so like I I really need to make an active effort to um, find a stylist to bleach my my tips because I the all black thing is like really cut my body honestly and it's like I need to stop putting in the area name and put in a store location in that area that I know in a parking lot because like I'm like, where am I? I do not see Ponce. <laughs> Which means you should put in Sephora. Okay? You shared one recognized Sephora if you saw it. Anyways, there is a cobweb in my car and I'm trying not to freak out. I noticed it like three quarters into the ride. And I'm just like, bro, there's a cobweb that means that means that there is a spider inside my car. You know, no need to be alarmed. No reason to panic. It's just a spider, you know? It's just a spider. Ugh. Yeah, so I'm trying not to panic because the last time I found a spider in my car, it was years ago. I was on my way to work and I almost crashed. And it started off by seeing a cobweb I didn't see the actual spider itself, but I was like, I, I see the cobweb, I know it's here. And then the next day, I saw the spider while I was driving. And it was moving quick. Oh! The panic is real. It's, it's so real. Um, but yeah, I just arrived, so I need to find parking. Um, and wait for him to meet me. I'm just going to go downstairs. I'm about to do this whole three hour search situation, even though I would love to be on the top somewhere here. Oh, she's so cute. Period. Oh. Oh, her jeans are so cute. I think they're boot cut, and that's normally not my vibe, but she looks really cute with them. Thanks for it, girl. I need to stop by Warby Parker. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should do that, actually. I didn't realize there was one literally right here. Ugh, Lord. So one of the reasons why I wanted to park on the top floor is because I have things in my car. You know, like I'm planning on changing outfits and stuff and I'm not comfortable parking in a garage because people are mad and are constantly breaking into cars and robbing people and I just don't want that smoke. I don't. <sighs> Anyways, I must do what needs to be done. The hat's back there. The sword hat's back there. Oh, 
Y'all, this whole bag is filled with shoes, bags, accessories, all the things. And it's so heavy. <gasps> um, this first look, I need my green accessories. Got her from Amazon, super cute. Um, I'm wearing my green boots. And one of the things I realized is that in this era of really cultivating my closet and buying things that I love and less hauls, less shopping, it's gonna be harder and harder for me to link things. And so I feel like y'all gonna be upset with me. Cause it's like, if you didn't catch it when I first bought it, you know, I don't know what to tell you. Cause I, I, I post 93% of everything that I buy. Okay. And I say that with my chest. So when I be wearing stuff, people be like, oh my God, where's that from? Da -da -da -da. What you talking about, Willis? You should have caught it on the drop. You should have caught it on the drop. <laughs> this ain't new, sis. I been talked about it. You gotta pay attention. Sis. You got to pay attention. As soon as you get here, start working. Cause I'm not trying to get caught in traffic on the way back home. Okay, in the meantime, grab my fancy butter to gloss my legs up. Though I probably should just leave this one in the car. Yeah, I might, this might be my car lotion. I really should have the small travel sized one, but it's fine. Um, okay, and now we wait. The next morning. Hey, Gems. Um, good morning. <laughs> so I am currently mapping out my plans for today. It seems like it's going to be a very busy, busy errand day. But yeah, I realized I didn't come and talk to you guys about the shoot. Um, it went really well. At first I was gonna vlog it, but I was like, let me actually see like, if this is someone I'm gonna see again, because how awkward would it be with me if I camera out like, oh, hey guys, look me at my shoot. And I never wanna see this man again. <laughs> um, he was actually really cool. Um, and I like the pictures that he took. Um, chat, we were walking all over Atlanta. Okay, that man had me use every back chop, every corner. I said, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> My ankle hurts. <laughs> but all in all, it was it was definitely a vibe. And um, I definitely told him you, could, you can count on seeing me again real soon. Okay. Um, so I think it'll be really great to have um, his help in between taking my own pictures. Um, especially for moments like that when you're taking pictures out in public and stuff in that public like like a real public place um, because one when you're setting up your camera and you're taking pictures you in my well in my mind because I've been seeing some of the girlies they just put the camera down and go about their business and you know do what they do I've been robbed before and I have PTSD I have trauma okay you want me to put my camera down and just casually walk away 20 feet so you can catch his clip. <laughs> it's a no for me. Okay, the cute getting in the car clips and driving away. That's real cute. It's not for me because once someone even looks at the direction of my camera, I know that I can't chase you. <laughs> like why take the risk when I know that I can't chase you? <laughs> huh? And now you got a camera with all my goodies. All my information, all my content, now I can't work, I can't upload, and you got me at your disposal? Like, that's crazy. Oh my God. Oh my God. Now that I think about it, when I got robbed, I don't know what I had on that camp. Oh, I was telling him the story, because he uses a Nikon, and I was like, yeah, the Nikon's my first baby. Like. I loved her sound. I saved up all summer about a camera. I didn't even have it a month. I'm pretty sure when I got robbed, that was my first time really taking it out because I just knew I was going to take some cinematic pictures and like 
a world renowned photographer. <laughs> oh God, man. Yeah, so um, personally, I would not have been out taking pictures at that location by myself, um, but having someone there holding the camera, it also makes you look less crazy, so. But for the most part, people really just mind their business. But like I said, you also look less crazy when someone's taking your picture as opposed to you sitting up and taking your own picture. But I feel like for the most part, the vibes are right. I just don't like attention. Because <laughs> um, even when you look crazy, for the most part, people are just encouraging you if they're even paying attention to you. Because people got their own thing going on. I mean, we were taking pictures on the steps. People were just like, oh, excuse me. <laughs> like, um, so that was... Um, nice to remember um because i haven't taken pictures out like out and about for real in quite some time so people really don't be giving a fuck <laughs> um and i love that for me and a few that do that do notice it's always positive you know um so that was good but yeah so i, I really like him i'm gonna tag him in my pictures um if you guys are interested or in the atlanta area and are looking for a photographer um and side note, you know, every once in a while, because I, you know, I, I feel like men are garbage, but like when you meet a man who just has like regular basic training, like home training, like people training, it, it was so, so, <laughs> and it really shouldn't be that way, but it was like, I didn't have to ask him to like, to do it like you oh let me grab this for you oh, let me help you with this oh, let me do this oh let me help you with this and it was just like thank you because i didn't go in expecting him to help me with anything at all like i fully went in like he's just a photographer he's just gonna take the picture i'm left in my own devices and one of my devices is putting on my shoes honey oh I've never, the girls are talking about that enough okay when you can't breathe because <laughs> you're putting on your shoes. And then you got bad knees and ankles. And so <laughs> it was just refreshing to have him to be like, oh, yeah, let me see. Or just carry my shoes for me. And it was just like nonplus, like just relaxed, chilled. And I was like, wow, this is really nice. Thank you. Like the first time he offered for a quick second, I wanted to be like, oh, no, I'm okay. Then I was like, bitch, no, you not. Why would you even think that? Yes, please. Thank you. I appreciate your help. Some people really talk about the whole like strong woman thing. And um, I always say I'm not strong, I'm a damsel in distress. But the fact that my first inclination, like for a hot split second was to say, no, I'm okay. I was like, oh, what's that about? <laughs> you know, I might have a more internalized things going on than I, I, I realized. So I was doing a light scroll before I went to bed last night. And I saw someone post this, um, this oatmeal smoothie breakfast situation. And I think I want to try this morning. I don't know why, but it appealed to me. But I'm just like, damn, I also don't know that. I don't think I watched the video. I think that was the last video I saw before I, go to, I went to sleep. Maybe that's why it's on my mind. <laughs> let me, um, let me go find my phone. Sensational. <laughs> that song gets on my nerves. I hear it so much. And here I go. Okay, let me go through my history. So, oh, it's right here. Banana breakfast smoothie with. Hello, my friends. It's Danny. And today I am. Hey, it's Danny, girl. Easy, healthy breakfast idea. All right, let's start assembling. I think she dry um, blend the oatmeal. Yeah, she did. She said blend, blend, blend the oats to a pot. <gasps> Do I have oatmeal? Wait. Oh, I have protein oatmeal. Did I change that instead? I'm gonna use the cognac oatmeal. Because it already has protein in it. And I can see how it tastes by itself. So let's do that. Sensational. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. All right. This is what I need to do. My Aussie shreds, dry blend them so that I can be soft again. Looks good. Looks very good. I'm going to add a serving of this right here. This is liquid, but whatever. So add some cinnamon. Actually, do I have cinnamon? Do I have unexpired cinnamon is really the question. Because the way I need to really sit down and go through my seasoning cabinet. This is cinnamon, yeah. Put a dash of that in there. Ooh, I think mean, that's enough. Mmm, yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. Okay. Going in with this overly ripe banana. <laughs> Oh, it's not that bad. Oh, she's gonna be super sweet. Honestly, I don't even think I need a whole banana. I really don't. Oh, oh, well, I guess I'm using a whole banana. Okay then. <laughs> All right, a little bit of ice. In fact, I don't think I ever used a crushed ice setting in my fridge before. And um, yeah, it doesn't really do a great job. <laughs> kind of sucks, actually. Sensational. All right, and we are going to use some of this oat milk. I've never used this before. Um, I liked it because, well, I wanted to try it out because it has four simple ingredients. Even though it's a lot smaller and more expensive. But I'm just like, how do you only have four simple ingredients? But the shelf life on this stuff is like, because I bought this a while ago and it doesn't expire until May 24. And I'm like, that's a little insane to me because how are you doing that without all the uh, all the things, you know? But we won't try it, honey. Now, she says use like half to three quarter cup. I'm just going to eyeball. Cause ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah. Ain't nobody got time for that. Watch this. It can't be nasty. Unless the oatmeal that I use is nasty. Because I've never tried that before. You just never know. All right. It's probably going to need more liquid, but let's try. That got stuck so quick. I forgot about the ice. It's gonna need a lot more liquid. I feel like using a protein shake in this would be really good as well. Um, like my Fairlife or Core Power Premier. That'd be a great way to get your liquid and protein in if you're not a fan of powders. Um, just a thought. Sustain those muscles. Okay, I feel like it's still. Mm, let me shake it because it's not giving. There's some stuff at the top, like. Okay, it's sounding very watery, but I'm okay with that because I don't want to put more ice in it. Yummy, yummy. Okay, I'm gonna do a little dash, a little dash. <gasps> oh, shh. <laughs> yeah, that is not cute. Oh, no, I wanted the aesthetics. <laughs> you didn't even try to spread out. You just said, fuck it. Oh, the truth. Oh yeah. I 
should take my original line out, but whatever. We're already here. Mmm. Yeah. I'm just a juice girl. I prefer this texture. It's so much easier to drink. I really like this. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's so easy to drink, to eat, consume. I'm not gonna be too heavy, but the ingredients make it filling. I'm here for it. Mmm. My sis did something. She did something. Yeah. Mmm. But if you had those like coffee syrups, I feel like that would be a great addition to like add different flavors. Mmm. Like a little splash of hazelnut, white chocolate mocha. Oh my God, I'm getting ideas. I'm getting ideas. But it's busting. Different flavors of protein powder. I'm gonna try that. Oh, the options are endless. Endless. What? Yo, you know what? That's my sign. I'm done talking. Um, so I'm currently getting dressed to run some errands. <laughs> Hold on, let me compose myself. Because I know I mentioned that I wanted to watch the Shannon Sharp, um, Cat Williams interview. <laughs> I started this morning. The first five minutes, I had to start calling people. I <laughs> I had to put my phone down, pause the video, and start calling people. Did you did you watch the uh did you did you watch it? Did you? <laughs> because it's insane. Cat Williams is eating up all of the comedians that came on that show. And he said, I'm gonna smoke for nobody unless they came on here and mentioned my name. And when I tell you from the very second he started talking, he was name dropping. Like he's not saying, oh, certain people you are speaking vaguely. He's dropping names. Like I <laughs> I don't even have the words, Lord. And also, I just want to say that it is very upsetting to me and my homegirls that fat jokes are so funny. Like I hate that for me. Because like <laughs> This thing is dropping fat jokes, and I want to be over here mad. <laughs> oh, oh, I hate that fat jokes are so funny. Damn it. Gosh. Oh my God. Like, literally, I was doing my makeup, I was crying. Like, because <laughs> when I tell you, my, my jaw is consistently on the floor. Like, I, when I tell you, this man don't give a flying fudge knucker. He does not care. He will call you out on your BS. I, one thing about it, if, if, if don't nobody else do it, Cat Williams is gonna stand on some motherfucking business, okay? I, I'm just, oh, oh my God. I, I can't even begin to gather myself right now. Um, but yeah, I am getting dressed. I picked up the Soul Date Hanero new body butter. Um, this came a couple of days ago, I think. And this is like the vanilliest fragrance that they have. And you know, a lot of their fragrances are very much edible. This is up, this, this is for the vanilla girls. Now, I think it's vanilla, I think it said orchid and something else. Violet orchid. And something else but the first thing I, I was like oh this is definitely vanilla and I put some on in the room I left and then I walked back in the whole room smells like this so their butters I feel like they're amazing inside the house butters um, if you're really dry personally I don't think that they are the best especially if you're leaving the house you might be ash in a couple hours okay um, I did apply all of the body but as a fragrance base their products are amazing and just to wear in the house to have moisturized skin so you're not ashy you know feet catching on the blankets and stuff <laughs> very cute for that um so i did apply all over and i smell amazing i do um i'm definitely gonna be buying more of those for sure for sure um the spray is not out yet i'm like why would y'all drop the butter and not the spray like what's what's tea what's tea but i'd rather y'all drop one instead of waiting to drop both so I'm not gonna be too mad. I don't know what the deets are behind that, but um, if you are a vanilla girl and you are looking for a nice butter, then um, 
try this out. Like I said, not the most rich. It's not, it's not a Fenty. It's not a Fenty, but she's cute and she's great for layering for fragrances. Definitely a fan. And we'll be buying that. I'm wearing my Abercrombie sweatsuit and um, putting it on now has just solidified for me. I do, in fact, want to get this in another color. Like, just like a black or something. Like, it's just so good. It's so good. It's so comfortable. It fits so beautifully. It's just... Oh, God, I can feel my pockets crying now, but it's just so good. I'm trying to figure out which sneaker I want to wear with it. Um, I was debating between these. I haven't worn these in a while. But I was like, I really want to, like, break these in. These are new. I haven't worn them yet. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of feeling the pop of color. So I think I'm going to lean towards the orange. I'm just not sure what purse I'll wear with this. Because I'm going to be out running errands. Um, and all of like, my orange bags are like evening and cutesy bags. I don't really have a colored just everyday kind of bag. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. Um, yeah, let me go figure out my purse first and then I'll decide what sneaker I want to wear. Because I also could do another another sneaker actually. Let me figure out my life and um, I'll come back. Okay, so I've decided I'm going to... <laughs> I'm gonna wear my coach camera bag and this um, color today. I have actually never worn this out, so might as well break it in. Um, it's a little matchy matchy, like the tones of the middle portion matches my um, sweats a little bit more than I would like, but that's fine. It still ties in the orange sneaks better than anything else I have. That's casual. And I'm just not about to pull out a sequin bag. Chill. But anyways. Gosh, when I tell y'all this whole room smells like that butter. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. I've been wanting to cross body so bad. But chill. It's a lot of body to cross. <laughs> Damn it. Bust out this pack of women's boot socks and they're like thick and I like them. I think I got them from Amazon. I'm gonna get more. I've had them for a little while, just haven't worn them. Um, Cause my first time actually wearing a heeled boot was last week. Yeah. <laughs> when I tell y'all, it's like, it's, it's taken me a while to like, get into the whole fall winter situation i just i don't know and that's crazy because i love fall like oh my god i can't wait for like the dark lip i haven't even done a dark lip yet that's insane oh a dark lip brown nails like dark burgundy Ugh. like i just i don't know i don't know what's going on but yeah this is the look this is really cute actually i just wish this crossbody was just a little longer or i just had less less titty <laughs> but it's fine it will do and i will be hands-free so yeah cute cute um i can't wait till this freaking spray comes out because i would love to layer this with that spray and something else but in the meantime i will find something else but yeah definitely a fan and definitely time to go Let's hit the, the road jack. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, so unpopular opinion. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, so unpopular opinion. I don't love Shannon's interview style. Um, mainly because I feel like he'll take something that Kat says and then create his own inferences about what it means. And he's not like paying attention to just the words. You no, know, it's kind of like Kat said, you know, oh, my father, like he hit me or something when we had an altercation. And he was like, oh, your father was abusive. That's not what he said. <laughs> there's like being disciplined and there's like abuse, abuse, like abuse. Um, and personally raising a Haitian household, for me, the two aren't the same. Um, so like and i felt like he did that often like once in a while like of course you know you try to see if maybe they're like 
when maybe there's a hidden in your window or maybe he's just like not being super clear but one thing about cat like he's gonna say what he need to say and instead of asking for him to clarify like what do you mean by that like was he abusive he didn't say like was he he didn't ask questions he made an assumption and then cat would have to go back and be like i didn't say that and i find that that happens pretty often and i don't know if that's intentional um like i said maybe he just thinks that there's more to the story and he's trying to like call it out but it's annoying to me <laughs> and i i do think that i am hyper sensitive to that mainly because of youtube of being on social media where every little thing you say takes is, is taken out of context and dramatized and just taken to the extreme you know like i can say oh i don't like how this shirt looks on my body and someone would be like, oh, I knew it. You hate yourself. You hate fat people. You can't stand yourself and look in the mirror. You are depressed. You are this or that. And it's just like, no, I just don't like this shirt on me. Like, I'm allowed to not like this shirt. And instead of taking what I say at face value or just asking for more clarity, you just made an assumption because you just want to make an assumption. And I feel like I'm getting a lot of that from Kat. So like I said, I do realize that <laughs> I might be hypersensitive because of the nature of my career <laughs> um but also like it's really annoying because like i said this is not something that happens once or twice like he's doing it repeatedly throughout the interview <sighs> so i feel like oh my god if you have not seen the interview i can't even give time stamps because i feel like i'm watching a little bit and then coming back watching a little bit and coming back i just have so many thoughts <laughs> i just have thoughts so i ended up going live later on the next week i think to talk about the whole podcast interview it was so hilarious i had to do it so if you're interested in checking that out i will have that linked down below if you haven't seen it already but yeah we spilled more tea then and my thoughts change a little bit too so stay tuned um but yeah so i'm here at the mall and i had to come out here because uh this location has a toured and i did an online toured um um purchase for some boots and they're just very uncomfortable and i'm bringing them back because like we already have so few like a wide leg white foot options put a, put a little padding you know and it's not even a heel like you could say something's uncomfortable people are like oh but it's a short heel it's the design of the shoe it's just not ergonomical and then there's like limited padding and just because like some of us got extra padding on the feet don't mean we don't need padding in the shoes okay like let's be for real okay if we're not gonna be anything else Let's be for real. <laughs> so I was like, damn, these low heels, but they hurt. Like, why y'all hurting more than my higher heels? I mean, the higher heels ain't that much higher, but I said what I said, okay? Um, but yeah, so I'm going to return these boots that I got. Um, and then I have to do a Macy's return. I ordered a, a, a long puffer. I'm pretty sure I've shown it before. Like, I've worn it several times. I accidentally ordered two, and I've had it in my car for who knows how long. So I'm going to go and see if they're going to take it. <laughs> and they're going to take it. Oh, shoot. Let me make a list, because while I'm here, um, I need to stop by the mat counter, because I want or need another night moth. I can't find mine. And I'm like, I can't do my ombre red lip, and I just got the Fenty um mvp liquid lipstick and i'm like i really want to wear that but i want to wear it with night moth so let's see two guy and you know i purposely left my feet ashy and crispy because i know i'm gonna walk into macy's and i'm gonna want to look at shoes i played myself because i'm still gonna look at shoes so now i'm gonna be there ashy foot and crusty on a weekend chamima you know yourself. That stuff never works. Now y'all here looking dumb. Just crispy and dumb. Damn. It is what it is. Because I, I so rarely go into a store. So like I had to take advantage. I have to. And not even for me. For y'all. It's for y'all. I do this for y'all. I sacrifice myself for y'all. You welcome. Y'all don't appreciate it. Y'all don't appreciate it. Not moth lip liner. Oh my God, did I tell you guys? My new MacBook came in. My new MacBook came in. It totally looks like a Dell computer. It's heavy. It's thick. I feel like it's bulky. I don't love these new computers. I don't. I so much more loved my current one. 
that shouldn't just make no sense but that's how shattered i am like it's such a big difference and going from 13 to 14 because they no longer make the 13s in the macbook pro i feel like it's so much heavier and that's without the case low-key is so bulky i was like do i even need a case but as much money as i spent on that goddamn laptop it's getting a case so now i'm like my bags are already heavy when i'm carrying you know my laptop and my charger and all that stuff it's about to be even heavier now like i just ugh. I don't know who is on these Apple focus groups where they're asking these questions and testing out these things and depicting what features go into a laptop based on this audience. I'm just like, I know I'm not in a room. Y'all don't have a me in the room. Y'all don't have, y'all can't have a creative in a room. Y'all have stoic businessmen that use Excel sheets, <laughs> maybe a coder, like, you don't have a creative. You can't. You you can't. You don't have someone that, that's on the move, on the go, that travels a lot. Because there's no way y'all stop making a 13. Like, for why? Now, I got, I got this heavy uh, desktop iMac I got to walk around with. <laughs> Damn. And I thought the black was going to be sexy. And it's not. It's not giving what I thought it was going to give. Um, And I was going to um, splurge and get the... Oh, what are they called? It's this brand... I think they're black women owned. I'm not sure, but they make these really nice MacBook cases and they have like a black crocodile skin one. And I just, I've always wanted one, but I couldn't justify buying a, a, a laptop case for like 80 bucks when I can go to Amazon and get like a full set for like 20, including a keyboard cover, a, a sleeve, a this or that. A, like, it's just like, why am I paying this much money for, um, a MacBook cover, but I'm so unattracted to how my, my MacBook looks now that I'm like, I would love a sleek, beautiful, like just chic case on it just to bring me some kind of joy because I'm not getting joy from my laptop and I hate that for me because it costs me so much. <laughs> Damn! But it is what it is and I'm locked in for the next six years, so. <laughs> it's the way you act. <laughs> also, my phone fell and when i first got my um my phone the amazon cases weren't really popping in because i got it pretty soon when it released which i never do and i probably won't ever do again honestly um so it fell and why did like part of the case chip and my screen has two scratches in the corners so i'm about to walk in there and be like listen so y'all gonna replace this or no because if i'm paying 50 bucks for a freaking case, once again, when I could have gone on Amazon and got it for twelve, thirteen, not at that time, but now I can. So why y'all expensive AF cases cost this much and, and doing this least? Doing the least. Be quiet. <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> okay, let me go inside. It's about that time. I really want to bring my cart, but I'm a chill. I'm not trying to walk around inside the mall <laughs> with my cart in my hand. Um, but yeah, so let's go. It's the way you act. <laughs> mm. <sighs> this is so cute. And of course, for the petite. Mm -mm. Um. I might have to come back and just look.
smell kind of. You know what? I don't like it. Not that I'm spraying on now. I was here for 3,000 hours. I'm starting to feel like it too. And dang, it's like, I thought I'd have a second to sit down, but they are already waiting for my spot. Damn! Can't even breathe! Golly! Whew. I stopped to grab a quick lunch as well because I was getting hungry. I got a little salad bowl. It was really good. And now I need to run to Ulta because I placed an order a little while back and I meant to place it for was it pickup or same day delivery? I'm pretty sure it was pickup because I'm not paying for same day delivery. <laughs> not from Ulta. <laughs> um, and I accidentally placed it for shipping. I think I, I, I wanted one thing for shipping and I thought that you know like Sephora you have different cards like you can check out and one will ship one will be like same day or whatever the case may be um and also just switched my entire order over to shipping but i needed those items right then and there so i went ahead and um reordered again for pickup so i'm not to return the ones that actually came in through shipping that's a whole lot a whole lot of <laughs> like and I, I wish that you could just like cancel it right then and there but they give me the option and I'm not about to call on the service and be on the phone for 30,000 hours trying to reach somebody but uh yeah so Ulta is the last stop for the day that I can head home and get some work done I'm tired I'm tired no I was there for a good little while I got here like at what 2 30 ish it's 5 now yeah, that's a long time for me to be like physically shopping out somewhere. Typically, y'all know I don't usually go in store. Like I just started back grocery shopping in person again, you know? Um, so speaking of which, I actually do need to go to the grocery store. That's not gonna be today. I ain't got that in me. <laughs> I ain't got that in me. Um, I might do a delivery order. Actually, no, I'll probably go in a couple of days. I have some, some things that should be able to hold me over. But yeah, hopefully it's not too late to do these returns. Thankfully, because it's holiday season, a lot of the returns have been like extended because like I bought my AC stuff in October. I was like, dang. And also I'm out here free balling. I didn't think, um, well, actually no, in my, no, I'm lying. In my mind, I was actually going to replace my phone case with another one. And I wanted the, the Hunter Green one. I was eyeballing it. But I was just like, Jimmy, if you get another case from here, because um, they were willing to swap it out, I would be in the same predicament if I drop my phone, which I will. The case is still going to end up falling apart. And my phone will get damaged. Um, and the rep was there. <laughs> as soon as I said, yeah, I bought my case. He was like, oof, I don't even recommend people buy the cases from here. <laughs> I'm screaming. And you know what? That is not the first time that... I've purchased a case for a device from Apple, excuse me, and it's been less than par. It's been less than what I thought it would be. Okay, I need to go and like, either you don't speed up or stay the same, like, cause you, you want to be next to me so bad. You want to be my twin so bad. Um, and so I also went to buy a MacBook case. I decided against it, like, what's the point? to pay this upcharge and it's not necessarily better quality and that's crazy because you would think that if you're going to charge an arm and leg for the device the devices the i'm sorry the accessories that are supposed to protect the device should be also high quality and that just ha doesn't seem to be the case now i like the apple phone cases because they're so thin like i can feel like a noticeable difference between the case the apple case and like a regular like amazon case but that's why it's falling apart <laughs> that's why my phone's still getting scratched because the amount of times i've dropped my phone with an amazon case on it that i've gotten for like 15 bucks and it's still like popping <laughs> apple get that together get that together thank you <sighs> okay that's it for my TED talk 
Bye. Off the altar. Jimmy, make I'm being weird again. <sighs> oh my God. How cute. How cute. Oh my gosh. So I forgot my, I like my foodie here. I mean, it's clothes and stuff, but I came in the car and I was like, ooh, what does that smell? Baby, that food is strong. But you know what? The smell is just as strong as, as the seasoning and the flavor profile. So a win is a win. But um, yeah, I had such a good time at Ulta. <laughs> I mean, aside from like shopping and stuff, um, I uh, ran into a couple of people. One whom I, I knew already. Um, so we were chatting a little bit because I didn't know that she worked here. And then I met another lady that works here and she follows me. And um, we were chatting and we we're just having like such a good discussion. I was like, love that for me. I feel like you can't really tell because of the lights, but it's like pitch black outside. And it's time for me to get the on home. So I'm about to crank some music and get to the house, have an energy drink and start recording some content. Yeah. Ha, 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 ha. Ooh, Ooh, Chile. This person in the car next to me just like, who are you talking to? You in my business. You in my business. Like, don't worry about it, sweetheart. This that splash. This that splash. <laughs> this that splash. Relax. It's my turn now. <laughs> Bye. Hey, guys. So, in the casa, clearly. Um, I'm about to record a TikTok real quick about this fragrance that I purchased. It was a blind buy. Um, and I figured I would just record while I film the TikTok because this is either going to be disastrous and hilarious or it's going to be informative and kind of fun and killing two birds with one stone. Like, you guys know, or you guys see, like I do like a lot of get ready with me. It's a lot of like that intentionally curated content. But I'm also trying to get in the habit of just like recording chill videos. Like, you know, just kind of sitting down and talking to the people. You know, nothing special, nothing crazy. Um, but you know, just having a key, having a key. So I need a touch up cause child, this face been on since this morning. Blots. Touch up the lip. I'm gonna use one of my new lippies from Ulta. This is the Milani Fruit Fetish Cherry Lime Lip Oil. I'm so obsessed with red. I don't know what's going on, but I keep looking for products that give me like a beautiful red tint and I really pigmented lips, so you know, yeah, like see, this is just a clear gloss. Like it's not too much and I want color. Okay. Oh, I don't know why it not into here. Um, it feels good. And you know, ordinarily it might do the trick, but I just really want color. Maybe I should put my ring light on. Um, let me try this gloss. This is the Maybelline Plump. I brought several options. <laughs> and this is in the shade Hot Chili. So this is the lifter gloss, but apparently these are like plumping. It's supposed to make your lip, you know, a little spicy. I like them because they give you sheen and color. I ain't asked for the spice, but I mean, all right, so it's, I don't really feel anything yet. You guys see okay let me um let me go grab some kind of light one of my little clip on lights oh god the struggle to get up from this couch <laughs> oh damn i studied me oh okay oh oh god 
There is a slight tingling, so it's not like unbearable. Um, and I'm going to charge, God damn. I'm going to, man, he's pack a punch. Let me dim. I'm gonna also keep this on the charger. Oh, it's fully charged, oh, okay, I charge this. Hello, darlings. Um, so I purchased a fragrance from Amazon. This is a blind buy from the recommendation of one of the girls that I watch on Instagram. It's called Shagaf Oud Amar. I could be butchering that, but I'm not sure. It does say that it's limited edition. I don't know how true that is, but she is cute. And I said, oh, I need to come show the girls because like they, they weren't lying about this. And this is why I need to, hold on, I can, I think I can fix this, right? How do I, okay, I'm gonna figure it out, then we'll come back to y'all, cause this is embarrassing. I don't need y'all to see this. <laughs> Hello, darlings. Um, so I purchased a fragrance from Amazon. This is a blind buy from the recommendation of one of the girls that I watch on Instagram. It's called Shagaf Oud Amar. I could be butchering that, but I'm not sure. It does say that it's limited edition. I don't know how true that is, but she is cute. And I said, oh, I need to come show the girls. She is, honestly, first of all, the bottle is stunning, gorgeous. But she smells great. And I'm not really an Oud girl. Like, if I'm being honest, I'm just not an Oud girl. Like, I can do Oud if it's real soft and subtle. And if I mix it, I love mixing Ouds with, like, vanillas and stuff. So, like, I feel like that blend is just beautiful. I like a hint, okay? But this one, it's just, oh, she just gives the vibes. Like, she gives, like, sexy, sensual, like, dinner date out on the town, snatch your father off the street vibes. Now, I'm great for explaining vibes, not notes. So let me look it up. <laughs> um, it says the top notes are bergamot, iris, freesia, melon, and peach. And the middle notes are tonka, amber, apple, rose, with the base notes being cedarwood, sandalwood, amber, vanilla, powdery musk, and oud. Like I said, the oud is very soft, but it does have like a freshness to it, but it still has that sensual tone, like that amber and that tonka and the rose. It's just... I'm a fan. I am such a fan. Now, I'm not one of the girls. I don't have no TikTok shop. I don't have no nothing. So I'm put the name. You can look for it on Amazon. It's pretty affordable. I want to say I spent less than 50 bucks on it. Um, but yeah, if you if you like a sensual, but still, as the girls like to say, feminine <laughs> fragrance. They do say it's unisex. Um, but I just, I feel like it just gives sexy. And I love that for me. So let me see what the price is. I just got it. Um, shout out to Sherry CD for mentioning it because $41.20. If she didn't mention it, I was just like, oh, let me just try it and see what it's given. Support my sis. And the whole time she was supporting me. She was looking out for me. I thought I was doing something from shopping her link. Oh my God. Um, yeah, she ate. She did that. And uh, Shagaf. Shagaf Udamar. Swiss Arabian. Yeah. Y'all did that. Eight. Four plus four. Mm, eight. Yeah. Vlog, say hi to live. Live, say hi to vlog. We were having a key. Yeah. Period. So I just went live on YouTube. It was so much fun. <laughs> just talking about nothing. Just cackalacking. I honestly don't know how some of y'all put up with me but y'all do and I'm so grateful, but we had a time. It is still up. I'm gonna see how y'all act. It's how you act. <laughs> um, Cause I was, it was getting a little, eh, mm, I was I was starting to tell T a little bit. So I'm about to take it down. If y'all get a little spicy, okay. Um, But yeah, uh, should I show you guys what I got? I do wanna, no, cause if I'm recording then I can show you then it doesn't matter, then I can do yeah, I'm going to show you guys what I got. Because <laughs> I knew I wanted to, to record a uh, TikTok. But I had like a layout for the TikTok in mind. And I wanted to record it like in my car. In the sunlight. Because I love how I look. <laughs> that is so vain. But I love how I look in the natural light with the, the sun on my, my skin. And I feel like, you know, it'll be a change of pace from my TikTok. Because it's always in the house, in the corner with, you know, 
the fake lighting. Um, and I felt like that would be really cute. So it'll probably be out anyways, but even if it's not, like whatever, I'm still gonna show you what I got. So let's get to it. So I'm just gonna show like a brief overview. I'm not gonna like get into the nitty gritty because for the most part, I get the same thing with the different colors. Get it another color. You know what it is, you know the vibes. Um, so I didn't really do too much damage at Ulta. And according to girl math, this is basically free because I have my returns and then add a lot of points. So I just use some of those and basically this is free. I got all these new goodies for the free skis. Like Ulta's reward program is honestly iconic. Like love Sephora, but she could never. She could never. Um, so I got a whole bunch of waterproof eyeliners because I do want to get back into like my eyeshadow bag this year and just more exaggerated eye looks. And part of that I feel like is playing around with cute liner looks. Um, and also it's a great way to add a little color on the bottom lash line, just a real easy pop. Wow, I got a lot. But they have like really like pretty shades. Like I cannot wait to test out this blue right here. I feel like this will really like pop. Sorry, there's like popcorn still in my mouth. Y'all know how popcorn is. I was clutching this, by the way. So good, so good. Um, yeah, so I got a crap load of that. And then I remember I told you guys that I saw somebody there that I know, and she recommended, well, Technically, she recommended, but she's never tried it herself. So she wants me to try it and let her know. It's the NYX Duck Plump Gloss. Um, and these are actually really pigmented, like really pigmented. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying these, especially the, the red. I feel like her signature lip is a shiny, glossy, super vibrant red lip. And this is such a beautiful red. I swatched it on my hand and I was like, because I saw her and I was like, instantly, I didn't mean to ask you, but what is your lip combination? And she said that she uses a ColourPop liquid lipstick and a Milani clear gloss or something on top. But I feel like I can achieve that look with this. At the very least, I can do a red lip and put this on top. Um, but like I said, I've been really into red lips lately. I don't know what's going on, but I'm here for it. And I think I got that in three shades. I also got it in like clear gloss. I feel like it's really cute. Um, and then I picked up some more of the CoverGirl glosses, the yummy glosses. They seem to have a little bit of a tint to them. The ones I have now are clear and this is actually a really good gloss. Um, so I picked that up. I basically only bought glosses. Yeah. And then I showed you guys like the Maybelline plumping lifter glosses that I saw. Oh, and I also picked up another Kylie. This time it's a lip kit and I got it in this burgundy shade, which I feel like it's gonna be really pretty. Um, and I actually want the liner that comes with this, so. That was Ulta Child, short and sweet. Also, all of these eyeliners are L'Oreal. Um, I typically do L'Oreal or Maybelline, as long as it's waterproof. They get the job done for me. Um, whew, Sephora. Actually, no, I didn't do too bad at Sephora. Um, so I picked up the Black Opium Over Red fragrance this is new and i'm not a black opium girly anymore i feel like i wore it so much i wore it out to the point where it almost makes me a little sick to smell it but i felt like this was cute very black opium ish but with a little pizzazz and i feel like it would mix well with some other things that i have and so i can get the essence on this but without the nausea <laughs> That sounds insane, cause why would you pick something that could potentially make you nauseous? But um, I'm actually kind of like excited to play around with this. Um, I also picked up some more lippies. I really wanted to try these NARS. Um, oh, I got a power matte lipstick. Oh yeah, oh I've never tried these before, but they seem to be like a really like soft velvety matte. So I got these in like really pretty, like dusty pink colors. And like, one thing I really like about NARS lip colors is that I feel like they do a great job of 
creating more unique shades that are still very much wearable that are in that mid range like they're not super like beige or super dark but they are like beautiful like beautiful like dusty roads and like a coppery rusty color or like a maybe true copper color they do a really great job at that in between range and i felt like i really should have tapped into these at the beginning of fall to really like emphasize these colors with a, a dark lip liner and like really like you know go ham but it's never too late i'm definitely looking forward to trying out this formula but from what i swatched i'm really looking forward to it and i feel like it's gonna be really great and i've tried other nars lip products and they they do it for me like there are very few products that don't do it honestly so i'm looking forward to these but the reason i really wanted to go i really wanted a whole bunch of these tower 28 lip glosses i had like one or two and they were okay like i wasn't like in love with them i don't know why but I feel like after discovering these newer shades, I cannot get enough. And they do have that little bit of pigment that does actually show up on my lips. It's not nothing crazy, but it's still something that I can appreciate, right? Beautiful, non-sticky formula. And it's just, I'm just like, I don't know why I'm not more obsessed with these. Like, I feel like I should. I don't know, but I'm obsessed now. So I got more of those. And then of course the, where are they? It's like a shiny, balmy type lipstick. Afterglow Sensual Shine Lipstick. So I also purchased the Hourglass Balm Gloss, something like that. And I feel like it's similar to this NARS lipstick, but the NARS one is going to show up more because the Hourglass didn't do it for me. It's basically a clear balm on the lip. I didn't get any of the color payoff that I wanted. Um, and so that's why I was like, okay, let me try NARS. And I'm glad I didn't go ham with the Hourglass. Um... Um, but I'm still going to keep the hourglass one because even though it doesn't give me the color payoff that I want, it still seems like it's a beautiful formula. So it's just a really cute, you know, clear something to add to the lip. Um, I picked up the Refi Cream Bronzer mainly because they said that it had like a dewy, like natural finish. And while I typically don't gravitate towards a product like that, for these drier seasons, I feel like this will be really handy in keeping the cheek a little more on the glossy side like this combined with the um the like highlight the liquid highlighter that they have i feel like that is going to give a glowy cheek with a nice blush topper oh god so i haven't tried it yet i haven't even looked at it i really hope it matches me um and that it looks as good as i feel like it's gonna look don't betray me do not betray me and of course more tower glosses and of course more red tones i really want that freaking red to pop and i also want an orange gloss to pop so especially today because i was wearing like the orange sneakers and i was doing like the orange accent color i really wanted a lip gloss that would pop and so i've been wearing my orange maybelline lifter gloss now a lot of the glosses have that color payoff that i'm looking for but some of them are more on the sheer side and the orange one is one of is one of those. Like I said, if you have lighter lips that are more on the pinkier side or don't have much as much pigment, it's going to show up on you. But for the girls with the weed lips, I woke up like this. Chuck it. Okay, love that. But also sometimes it's a struggle to find a lip color that shows. So I'm really hoping that the Tower 28 shade in fire will do the trick. Um, but if not, no, it's just another gloss for the collection. I love a gloss. I love a lip product. I've heard so many great things about the Milk, what are these called? The Odyssey Lip Oil Gloss. Oh, and the shade that I really wanted, which is like the clear one with the blue sparkles, I think. I really freaking wanted that. Um, maybe because what blue product did I try? I think they said blue lip glosses make your teeth look whiter. And ever since then, I'm like, oh, blue gloss. Like, I want that. Um, I, like, I have one from Ulta. Um, I tried to get one from Milk. They were out of stock. And then, that's what sold me when I went to MAC. I went to MAC to pick up Night Moth. Like, I already knew that I wanted to get that. Um, but when I saw the... Um, the bombs because first you mentioned it and i was like oh, that's cute but like i already have like a couple of different bombs from different brands um but when i saw that when you put it on it actually does have a, a little bit of a blue tint i said oh this is gonna make my teeth look sick so did i pick it up yes and then of course i was on my orange vibe today so i picked it up in the orange shade as well which is hazard but i'm really really excited to wear nova i really want to see how this looks on the lips it might look insane or I might look like I have veneers. Who knows? Who knows? 
but yeah i definitely got my night moth so i'm happy about that i did pick up a new blush it's very pinky very rosy and very shiny and i'm very excited to use it it's literally called rosy cheeks and i feel like this would be great on its own or as a topper because extra dimension finish so it's gonna give shine you know i love a shiny cheek honey that's just my vibe right now that's how i'm living life with shiny cheeks but yeah that is it for makeup i really do have a lip problem and you know what that is something i would come out with like a lip gloss line but i feel like at some point i would have to expand and i don't want to but i mean that's what buxom does right but i feel like is anybody still talking about buxom i feel like when you're one dimensional it's it's a little too easy to kind of fall off people's radar you know there's always going to be a latest and greatest and if you're not constantly coming out with new product then um you become a stealer i saw Stila at ulta today and i was shocked i was like i thought they were out of business or that they stopped carrying them and they had their one little stand and i said wow i did not know they still carried Stila in store they still carry them at all actually let me not hold you i definitely thought they went out of business that Stila eyeliner was the bee's knees back in the day you couldn't you couldn't be an it girl without using that that eyeliner okay or their um eyeshadow liquid eyeshadows <laughs> please please but yeah other than that i just got like a whole bunch of leggings and stuff from lane bryant um they don't have the one that i love anymore so i said i'll try these out and see if i hate them i'll bring them right back bring them right back i picked up some jeggings too um mainly because i don't have this wash and i felt like i should but also i don't know if i'm a jaggy girl i think i like a little more structure in my thing in my pants my jeans i feel like this will lose its shape fairly quickly um also i hate the three button situation when you're a girl with your nails it's just a hassle sometimes so i'm just like debating if i want to go with my experience and just return these um or if i want to wear these and try them out and see if i get like booty sag or like fupa sag um because i don't get that from my boyfriend jeans and they're more structured than this still super stretchy but more structured these are like super stretchy like i probably should have sized down even more um but you know these just might not be the ones for me but also i just don't have a pair of jeans this dark and i feel like dark jeans are really good for dressing up but alas we move um last but not least i did get this one pair of tights and the store rep said that she wears them just as tights i personally got them to wear as like stockings um because she said like like it's basically shorts with detailed something on the bottom and i figured if i wear a dress you'll only see the detail right but i'll also have the security of having shorts underneath so my thighs aren't rubbing together genius except that the only thing is the dress has to be long enough to cover the shorts and i'm currently in my micro era it's really in my brain not really in practice but i'm i'm gearing up for it i'm getting ready for it and i'm doing so by trying to source really large sizes of tights because i feel like i have tiny skirts and tiny dresses that i want to wear and my shorts don't let me wear the tiny things and i'm like this is the time like i truly hate stockings but also i love to look good and stockings have been doing it for me lately like i see so many cute looks of stockings and i'm just like Jamila, if you shave your legs and moisturize your legs maybe it won't be as bad of an, <laughs> of an experience as i used to be god i say stockings but you can wear the tiniest things when you wear stockings you know and then you don't have to worry about your shorts showing because your thighs aren't rubbing together. You're not wearing shorts. You're wearing stockings. Unless you're wearing these when you wear shorts and stockings at the same time. And I'm just like, I feel like this design is really cute. I really wanted a lacy number because I don't know if you guys have been seeing, but the, the girls have been wearing like lace, full lace bodysuits with oversized blazers. And it's so sexy. To, I love that look. I saw Janae wear a look like that with a blue blazer eight mm -hmm. eight it was to the point where i was in her dm it's like girl you ate that 
I'm gonna have to go back and watch that video again because you ate that. And then Brittany Parkinson Bowles, she did a look like that, all black. Oh, beautiful. Mm, loved it. And I was like, you know what? I am jealous of all you small bitches because y'all look so goddamn good. Y'all look good. Oh my God, y'all look good. I want to look good too. So I'm going to try my hand. <sighs> but it's so hard. I used to wear a lot of blazers back in the day. But I, I would have to size up exponentially because y'all know my arms are not proportionate to my body. Like, yes, I got a big back. But the arms are even bigger. Like, they do not match my body. And it makes it difficult for me to purchase things in my size. So, like, my blazers would be, like, grossly oversized. Which had its moment. But there's, like, oversized and there's just, like, that's too big. <laughs> you know? Um, and I was teetering between the two. Um, and when you, when you got a big back you you can't find that's too big it's just tight <laughs> so i did order some blazers so i'm gonna see if they fit i really want to um get back in my blazer bag i used to love a blazer in a legging situation oh my god i have to pull out the footages inside joke to see if i have any Cause there's just one look I really liked. I had like a cute little high pony, a green oversized blazer, a black and white striped shirt, black leggings, and I thought I was so cute. And you know what? I was. I was. I was rocking the oversized blazers before the girls was hit to the oversized blazer. I don't know that for a fact. It was cute though. But yeah, when I gained weight, I gave them all away, job. Gave them all away. Uh, anyways. I'm about to hop in the shower and call it a night. Um, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. I need to clean up this mess that I've made here. Um, and I need to, I really need to take some time to reorganize my makeup because if I'm gonna put in, I gotta take out. And I know I got some stuff that's been there for 10 years that I need to take out, okay? All right, good night, darlings.